These are my rooms. Please remember that. I'm not a smith. There's a man who's not been sleeping in the gutter. Nothing like the feel of a proper bed, eh? That's 30 gold coins to you. For a decent kip, I'd say that's a bargain. You can pay Costa. Please. Take a look around. Are you looking for anything special? A pan, cast iron, or a necklace? If you're hungry, we have potatoes. We grow them ourselves. Have a look at everything I offer. That's a lot of different wares for a merchant. I'm not a merchant. I'm a farmer. Was, till the ruins came. Lost my farm. You look like another refugee. Word to the wise, stay away from Costa. Costa? Who's Costa? He's a swindler. After everything people have lost, he's trying to take the rest. He forces people to sell their goods for less than they're worth, then resells them. Help another refugee, will you? Have a look at my goods, not the stuff he's pushing. Why don't you sell your goods somewhere else? We're not allowed. They won't let us into the merchant's district. The Inquisition talks about law, keeps us here, then lets these scoundrels run things. We don't have enough gold to buy the goods the merchants offer, so the white robes chase us off. For a lot of us, the only thing left is Costa. He's the only one who'll buy. What can you tell me about the town? Well, there are three districts. The gutters here, that's the street above the harbour. Farther down by the water is the harbour district. That stretches from the lighthouse to the warehouses and the prison at the end of the quay. The rich bastards live in the merchant's district. That's where the main gate of the town is. Tell me about the gutters. The gutters are everything above the harbour. Home to the unlucky, unloved, farmers and refugees. Master Belshaw has set up a soup kitchen at the end of the road. He's a mage from the monastery, one of the order but at least he's looking after us. And there's Flavio, a merchant. He has his business at the end of the gutters, next to the shrine. And if you want a beer, go to Josh. He has a small tavern here. Tell me about the harbor. They say the gutters isn't reputable. Go down there, you get drunk sailors, a tavern and a brothel. People aren't as willing to spend gold as they used to. With the storms, the sailors are stuck here and bored. But if you're looking for pleasure, that's the place for you. You find a lot of stranded fishermen and workers at the warehouses. One of the buildings was confiscated by the order. Don't know what they're storing there. Anything else? Well, the order seized the old harbour master's office and set up a slaughterhouse there. If you have enough gold, you can buy meat. With gold and meat, you'll also find guards. Tell me about the merchant district. If you're looking for goods and have enough gold, there's a lot of merchants around the square at the main gate. But try here first, yeah? If we refugees don't support each other, who else will? Let me see your goods.
I'm Costa. Welcome to my little part of the island. If there's anything you need, anything at all, I can get it. Usually. Don't think I didn't see you trying to take a kip. Sleep isn't free, you know, especially not on one of my beds. So pay up. What do you sell? Weapons, potions, jewellery, scrolls. If you need it, hell, I can even get you a bed. Where do you get your wares? Since there's nothing coming into town, I sell stuff we still got inside. Like what? Times are tough. People got to find a way to get by. Quite a few folks want to sell their possessions for some solid coin in their hands. So you prey on people's poverty? Hey, no one's forcing them to sell their stuff. If they wish to trade their family heirlooms for a hot meal, I'm the man who helps them. I'm a charitable man, just like Bill Shaw. They'd be sleeping in the gutter without me. Anywhere around here I can sleep? It's not a good idea to spend the night in just any old bed. That's asking for trouble. But I have a couple of beds on the upper floor. I don't ask much. Just 30 gold coins. They're safe, peaceful, and you won't wake up with lice in your hair. Here's the gold for your bed. Sleep well. <laughs> Let's trade. Hey, do you work here? Sure do. If you're looking for somewhere to kip, just go upstairs. Pay Costa after. Isn't it a bit odd to pay afterwards? Don't ask me. I don't bring the business, I just bring the muscle. Why is muscle needed? Costa doesn't want trouble. Trouble with whom? Guests looking for a free kip, or anyone who wants to play silly buggers. You work for Costa? Yeah. Got to get gold where you can. Not much to be had down at the arbor. Most ships means no work. So you're paid muscle? Better than an unpaid muscle. Come on then. I could do with a bit of combat practice. You what? You want to fight me? Here? Yeah. Let's go. Sure. Why not? I don't have anything better to do. Let's get this over with. Stick the bar! Yeah. Fight! Fight! Give us blood! Stick the bastard! Come on, you bastard! Stick the bastard! Yeah. Come on, you fucking like lettuce! Ah. Come on, you fucking like yeah. lettuce! Ah. Give ah. us blood! Fight! Fight! Yeah. Ah. Stick the bastard! Ah. Ah. Come on, you fucking like lettuce! Do me a favour, mate, and don't let Costa know you can fight like that, or I'll be out of a job. I don't need to tell him, or are we going to have another problem? No. I might be paid for muscle, but that doesn't mean I don't have a brain.
Try someplace else. What do you want here? I could ask you the same thing. I sleep here. Nothing wrong with that, is there, mate? What do you do? I, um, work for the fishmonger. Is that so? Honest. I pick up the fish and take them out to sell them. You don't look busy. Well, storms mean no fishing, and nobody's got much to spend. If I sleep here, you'd better not steal from me. Mate, trust me. I don't do things like that. Well, let's keep it that way. I don't know who you are, mate, but I promise you're safe here. <sighs> I need sleep. Hey, wait a minute. Don't walk by. Try the best fish in town. This is your lucky day, because I have one perfect Piscine offer for you. You do. Buy one fish and get a second fish completely free. Two fish for the price of one. Sounds like a good deal. What sort of fish do you have? Everything the sea can provide. Herring just caught and place so fresh it doesn't even know it's dead yet. Is that all? No. I also have shark. A nice shark steak will revive the weariest spirit, and you look like you could do with that. You're pretty talky for someone who sells fish. Well, I figure the longer I keep someone talking, the more chance they have of buying some fish. I never should have bought this lousy fishmongers. I was with this wench. She said she liked fish, and then, oh, before you know it, I've bought this thing. I mean, I don't know my herring from my halibut. And with the storms, there aren't even many fish being caught. Why don't you sell the store then? Do you want it? Why would I want a fish store? See? That's what I should have said to myself. But that wench was so very beautiful. Is there anything I could do to help? Well, you could find someone who wants to buy this store. Ideally, someone who knows about fish. How much do you want to sell your stall for? Hmm. Well, including all the goods, let's say 300 gold pieces. I'll find you a buyer for your stall. Wonderful! Might be handy if you look for someone who is drunk, or crazy, or loves fish. I'll keep that in mind. I have faith in you, my friend. Here, have a shark steak on the house. Where do you think I can find a buyer? If I knew, I'd have asked them myself. Maybe the harbour? The tavern? You could ask the fishermen. At least they'd know about fish. Show me your fish. You actually want to buy some? Well, don't forget, it's two for one. Let me have some place. Here, two place. Give me a shark steak. Here, one steak, and another for the road. <laughs> 